Hello, welcome back to the Tom Lamb YouTube video channel, whatever you want to call it. So today we're going to be doing some more concreting and uh, we're putting this racking up upstairs. So I want to show you that as well. Let me know what you think in the comments because I think it's really good. Um, we've got cramp coming to uh, settle my nuts and bolts stands up. So we'll have a look at that in a bit. That'll be, that'll be quite interesting, that will. Concrete, I'm just coming back from drilling. Let's go and have a look. We've just changed the uh, level of the uh, shutters just here. So just building it up with a little bit of stone. Just keep pouring a bit in, we'll just level it out and then we'll roll it. Not. It's only just gone nine o'clock. Nearly got it all in. I've got a few people saying, Why aren't you putting mesh in the concrete? Well, I don't want to, and I don't think I really need to here, to be honest, because we're on solid bedrock. Um, you know, it takes some digging out as it is, where you have to jackhammer through it, which we're going to have a look at in a minute. And um, I'll show you what these uh, structural fibres are all about, because um, you can get different types of fibres. Usually the fibres you order are like a fur, whereas these ones are structural fibres, and they're like, they're like razor blades. So we'll have a look at them. I've got a little piece of concrete just here that's actually set, so you can see what they look like. So this is a bit from the other day, look. Can you see all these? Absolutely make it solid. So these are all the way through the concrete. And look, that bit's actually broke. And the fibres are actually holding it together. So it's sort of doing the same job as steel, but for half the price. I don't really know what anyone else sort of thinks or what they sort of do. So yeah, look, in there, there's only one fibre holding that together. And it does that. So it just shows you how strong one fibre can be. So if you imagine hundreds and hundreds of thousands of these in all this con... Oh, 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 oh. That bit of concrete is wet. Yeah. Hello. Cat's been quite good today, hasn't it? It is good cat. Perhaps it knows that it burns, burns your feet. Oh, yeah, it burns your feet. It's been on it that many times now. Look, well, it's just walked across that bit. Just there, look. Luckily, it's not our bit, but it's still got its paws in wet feet. See, it's gone for that lunchbox, hasn't it? What's going on in here? It's like that cat. Oh, my God. Where is it? It's gone for your lunchbox, hasn't it? It has. This is... Didn't it... Bloody thing. It's just been and stolen one of the lad's lunches. <laughs> Haven't you, David? You got, what, you got a bit of pizza? The thing about steel as well, if you uh, think about it, the steel only sits like in the middle of the concrete because you space it out. So it's like three inches in the middle. So there's nothing below it and there's nothing above it. Whereas these fibers, they're all the way through it. Um, so I would have thought they'd be a lot stronger, but what do I know? So if I had a big jackhammer on the end of here, once you get under it all, you can rip, rip it out, but come on. Get it out. Excellent. Well, 
sort of doing here, I've ripped through all the concrete and any stone or whatever, like a trench, so then I can pull it up from that way and get underneath it and lever it up. So, let's open the window. This way. And I'll start here and pull all the way back. Where's that cat? I've just seen it under here somewhere. It's disappeared. It's gone somewhere. There it is. Just can't keep away, can it? Concrete here, look. Look at Paul. How many people you had to ring you up? Too many. A lot of nuts and bolts here, isn't there? Should we set up for a while? Yeah. So I've got all these labels, look, all in order, all different nuts and bolts, all the way from M6 to M20. Um, we still haven't finished putting them in yet. Loads more, look at all the rubbish. <laughs> so yeah, this is, uh, this is really good, isn't it? And it's all labeled. So what you do now, um, with the app on your phone, you just sort of go up to it and scan it, and then it'll reorder whichever one you've scanned. When you're getting low, so you haven't got to ring up, you just go up to it, reordered it, job done. Loads and loads of different types. It's in there, look, got spring washers. Oh, then we've got a few empties down the bottom just there. We still haven't finished filling them ones up yet. But yeah. Well, there's nothing I can do about it now, is there? What I'm doing now, I'm now putting urea into the tractor because i want to save the planet so what we've done we've got two plastic drums here and because this tractor uses quite a lot of this stuff um the reason i'm having to use this basically because the new tank i've got had put in um hasn't been filled up yet and i need to fill this up to save the environment um so then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put this into the tractor oh, and that go on into the tractor tank and then from there, there we go. Then from there, I'm then gonna dispose of these plastic drums that are probably gonna go to landfill. Last bit of, uh, that was all we had left over. So that's, uh, that was quite good. So I'm just gonna pull it, blade it with the bucket backwards and it'll go off ready for tomorrow. There's only a little tiny bit, so get it under there. spread it out nicely nightmare trying to dig through this we're getting there slowly where the concrete lorry's washed out there the fibers just there look we can't get any of the pins in so it's solid stone I'm going to drill every single one. And we're having to brace them all as well because we just can't get these in very far. As you can see, it looks like a two-year-old's put them in. A lot of rock there, look. We've had to go around that. Can't even pull one out and he's jackhammering out. This is why we needed the big jackhammer on the end of the big digger. I've just been informed the cat has oh yes yeah that's set alright isn't it isn't it David where else is it what the cat no
Oh wait, look, bit, look, here it is. Cat. It's like it's jumped. Look, there's some paw prints there. And then I can't see, oh look, there's a paw print there. So it's, it's jumped from there to there. So instead of walking through it, it's jumped. So it's, it's put bigger imprints in it. Paw prints, paw prints, paw prints. Oh yeah, more paw prints. Oh look there, paw prints, paw prints, paw prints. This is the six inch fiber board expansion board. Sits in there like, what? Oh my God. Video and you just bought me a banana. <laughs> Last little bit to do. Well, for today anyway. Doing some more crush testing again. Doing this bit and all today. Yeah, we're doing all of it. Last bit. Right there, there, there. Oh, there is waves. <laughs> Ball's in charge. I've overestimated the concrete by two cubic meters. What? I didn't. You didn't? Oh, is that it? Getting to wash out just there. That's how much I had too much. Trouble is now I've concreted it, nothing can get in and out. Whoa! It's gone into the tree. Get around that. Excellent! Woo. So there we have relatively successful been very fortunate not to have any rain as well there's the fiber joint in the middle there it's just so the concrete because it's between that building and that building there if it like moves like that it just wants a bit of a bit of a joint into uh i don't know just to do something i'm sure there's some expert on here that'll tell me what it'll actually do so yeah there we are Starting to come together now, isn't it? Um, let us know what you think to the nut and bolt rack. Quite pleased with that. Uh, concrete's going well. Uh, do a bit more in a couple of weeks' time. Got a few other bits to catch up with. And I've got to let all this go off before I can do that bit. So we can still get in and out. So then we can drive over this bit and then do that bit instead. So it's a bit bit of a pain in the ass, really. But um, yeah, it's, it's going well. And uh, it's something we've always wanted to do. But you know, I think you've just got to get on with it, really. Um, is anyone else doing any concreting? How do you do it? Do you use mesh or do you use these structural fibres? Don't really know anyone using structural fibres. So it'd be interesting to see if it all breaks up and it's a complete waste of time, but it seems pretty strong. So anyway, see you all in the next video. Thank you. Goodbye.